All right, so what I think will be a simple project today, um, we've got a furnace that's now working because we did a video earlier where we got the furnace working. And uh, when I got the furnace working, I noticed that the fan behind the oven here that basically is connected to an air duct to blow warm air around the back of the coach and eventually into the bathroom was disconnected. The wires were cut. And so I thought that was kind of odd. I reconnected the wires and got the furnace working. And anytime the furnace is running, that fan is running, pushing the air back around the back. We've noticed that it doesn't really move the air very well. And I don't know if maybe there's problems with the duct or, or what's going on. Um, but I've read quite a few things where people say that they put a switch on that fan or disconnect the fan altogether because it's a power hog. And when you're camping on batteries, which we do uh, pretty regularly so far, um, you don't really want to use that extra energy. So my plan is to install a switch like this. Um, and it could be any kind of switch, really. I just happen to, to have this one. And it's, a, it's kind of a nice light up switch. And so my plan is to mount this switch in the electrical panel back here, uh, kind of in the back of that cabinet, and wire into the fan so that if we want to just use the furnace and get the hot air kind of in the main part of the coach, then we can save the extra energy of this other fan. There is a fan in the furnace itself that moves the air across the, the heat exchanger to actually work as a furnace. So uh, this should be a pretty easy fix, or well, I guess change, modification, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I pulled the oven out, so we can now see the fan down here. And there's a green wire that goes up to the fan. This red wire is going into the fan itself. Um, I suppose there probably used to be a connector or something here. Um, I don't know if this is the original fan or not. Uh, and then there's a ground wire that's just attached to the fan because the fan's attached to the aluminum rail back behind. So I used uh, some butt connectors and shrink wrap to extend the power wire. I'm running a ground wire to my switch also. And then I'm extending this green wire so that I can go back behind the wall here into that electrical cubicle. So I have three connectors here that I've set up and I'm going to, to wire those onto the, the switch. I'm gonna put a little shrink wrap on these. I don't really like exposed terminals like this so close together. Um, just don't wanna have a short and blow a fuse. So I'll put a little shrink wrap on these. I'll need to mount the switch in the uh, electrical cubicle right next to this. And so we'll, we'll go a little more here. Okay, so I've got it all wired up. I put a little flex loom on here to uh, just kind of protect the wires. And then it runs over into the cubicle next to this. So we'll come over there. And got the switch mounted right up there. So we can turn it off, flip it up to turn it on, and We'll put a little label on that just so uh, you know somebody later will know what that switch is for. And now we can turn that on and off. Uh, we tested it, it works great. So the furnace runs on its own, but if we wanna have that extra fan blowing uh, back to the back, then we can turn on that switch. Uh, there's a little light there too, so that you know that it's on. I think that's a nice little feature. So now, just a little bit of wrap up. Um, we'll need to put the cooktop the range back in I had to disconnect the gas line in order to pull it out so I could work behind it so I'll reconnect the gas line I'll check for leaks at that connection just to make sure everything's ready to go and this project should be all done